you on the screen.
I'm Grand Marshal Natalia Miatovic, and I would like to call to order the commencement of the Harper College of Arts and Sciences of the State University of New York at Binghamton. Everyone, please rise as you're able. We welcome you to join us in singing the national anthem. Yeah, let's Everyone, please be seated. We are honored to welcome a very special friend of the university to our campus today to help celebrate the graduation of our Harper students. United States Senator Charles Chuck Schumer has been a great supporter of the university and a powerful representative of the citizens of New York. Most recently, he guided us and spearheaded advocacy efforts in DC for the university's winning application, securing more than $130 million in state and federal support to help the region become a leader in next generation battery technologies and workforce development under the federal Build Back Better program. Please welcome the senior, sen sen senior senator from New York State, and current Senate Majority Leader, Charles Schumer. Thank you. Thank you, everybody. And congratulations. Let me be the first to congratulate the class of 2023. You've made it. Now, thank you, President Stenger, members of the faculty, administrators, clerks, all of those who helped make this one of the greatest institutions of higher learning, not only in New York, but in America. Well done. Thank you to the whole university team. And first, I'd like to say a word to the parents. I know how you feel. Not long ago, my wife and I, Iris, sat where you sat and watched our daughter, Allison, get her diploma. It was one of the proudest days of our lives. You've been through a lot as parents. It's not easy raising kids these days, but now you get to watch all of your blood, sweat, and tears pay off as your daughter or son walks onto this stage, gets the diploma, and becomes an adult before your very eyes. Let's hear it for the moms and dads. And another word of thanks. While we are here having a great time there are young men and women serving in our armed forces, many in dangerous places overseas, risking their lives for our freedom. Let's have a round of applause for them. Now, to the great class of 2023 BU. The challenges of the last few years have truly been unique. I'm sure you expected your time in college to bring new experiences. 
but that probably didn't include a global pandemic. And yet, here you are, after having earned a degree from a great, fine institution of higher learning. You overcame immense obstacles to get here. Nothing, nothing and nobody can ever take that away from you. We have more work to do, but little by little, life is returning to normal. And it took a lot of work to reach this point. As Senate Majority Leader, I worked hard to pass the American Rescue Plan, which put money in the pockets of families and small businesses who were hurt by the pandemic. In addition to the $130 million we got to make Binghamton University and this area a center of battery technology in the world, I was proud to also secure $70 million in funding for Binghamton University, much of which went to students to help them get through the pandemic. And one more thing that I'm working on. I persuaded the President to cancel a significant portion of student debt. We want to get that burden of student debt off your shoulders once and for all when you go into life. And I will fight and fight and fight until we get that done. Now, as we all know, graduates, this is an era of profound economic and social change. In the old days, when you graduated from college, the odds were pretty high that you'd have the same job in the same field for 40 years. That's not so true anymore. Most of you will have several jobs, and many of you will have several careers. And along with these economic changes, the Internet has put so much information at our fingertips that it's sometimes hard to figure out what's important and to distinguish between what's true and what isn't. All too often on the Internet, the loudest voices get the most attention. But the class, but class of 2023, the good news about this changing world is this. Your generation, your generation, is better equipped than any other that came before it to adapt to these changes, to overcome the obstacles they present, and seize the opportunities they afford. Now, right now, sitting in your seats, you may not be certain of what comes next. With so much of the world changing so fast, it may feel like sometimes you're jumping into an abyss. But the key, graduates, is this. Don't fear the unknown. Embrace it. Relish it. Soak up every possibility it has to offer. Cast aside your fears and doubts. So my advice to the class of 2023 is simple. Go for it. Now, how do I know? Because I remember feeling these doubts when I was your age. When I was seated at college graduation several years back, like you are today, I had just learned that I had won a scholarship to travel all around the world, all expenses paid for a whole year. For me, it was the opportunity of a lifetime. I had never been out of the country before. My family didn't make much money, couldn't afford many trips. So this opportunity of traveling around the world was great. But at the same time, I met a girl and I fell in love. Aww. So graduates, I had to make a decision. Do I go around the world on the all expense paid trip for a whole year? Or do I stay home with the girl, my first true love? Class of 2023, what would you have done? <laughs> President Stenger, the class is divided. Well, I stayed home with the girl. Don't clap yet, you romantics. The story continues. <laughs> that summer, she went on a brief vacation, and I went to the airport to meet her on her return. As soon as she got off the plane, I saw by the look on her face, something was the matter. She dumped me by Labor Day. <laughs> there I was. No scholarship, no trip around the world, no girl. I said to myself, what a loser you are. You're never going to make anything of yourself. And in fact, graduates, I stayed in my house for several months, moped around, felt sorry for myself. But somehow, 
I picked myself up, dusted myself off, and moved forward, and a few years later, I found myself seated at graduation once again, this time from law school. But on the way home from graduation, I broke the news to mom and dad that I wasn't going to join the fancy law firm like we had planned. I told them politics was my passion. My dream was to run for public office to help make the world a better place. My parents were shocked. My mother was particularly disappointed. You see, I grew up in a working class family that struggled to send me to college and law school. They wanted the best for me. The law firm was paying $400 a week, which in those days was more money than my family had ever, ever seen. But my heart wasn't in it. I didn't want to be pushing a pencil for some per client who I didn't even know, and I thought if I ever met him, I wouldn't like him. My passion was public service. My dream was to run for office. So that fall, at the age of 23 and against very long odds, I ran for the New York State Assembly, and I had three opponents. There was the party machine candidate, there was a neighborhood activist, and then there was my mother who was telling all her friends not to vote for me. <laughs> so as she said, as she put it, I'd get this dumb idea of being a politician out of my big thick head. Well, graduates, a few years earlier, I sure didn't get that girl, but that November, I won the election. So, <laughs> graduates, on this great day of your achievement, my advice to you is take the risk. Don't let fear and doubts deter you. For those of us who have gotten older, sometimes the more painful moments are what you call the look-backs, the what-ifs. What if I had looked back and only done this? What if I had only gone there? So my advice to the class of 2023 is simple. Go for it. You're about to cast off into the unknown, and that can sometimes seem scary but you've got great assets. An education from one of the most outstanding institutions in the country, and families that will have your back through thick and thin. So garner up your courage. Garner up your strength. Put aside your doubts. Take a chance. And if you do, it is my hope, it is my prayer, and indeed it is my confidence that you will find true success and joy in life. So to this great graduating class of 2023, I say congratulations, good luck, Godspeed, and don't forget, go for it. Thank you so much, Senator Schumer. Good afternoon. I'm Associate Dean Pamela Smart. This is a very special ceremony as we bring together our baccalaureate candidates as well as their family and friends. Congratulations to you all. Before we proceed, yes. Before we proceed with our ceremony, I'd like to welcome members of the Binghamton University Council who are joining us today. Please hold your applause until both of our guests have been introduced. Avery Bensikin, student representative, and Maureen Wilson. I would also like to introduce our other special guests who sit with us on stage this afternoon. They will stand as I call their names. Again, please hold your applause until all have been introduced. President Harvey Stanger. Donald Hall. Provost and Executive Vice President for Academic Affairs. Sharon Bunch Nunez, Professional Staff Senate. Greg Del Vicio, Vice President for Communications and Marketing. Scott Foyer, Alumni Association President. Oscar Hutara, Student Speaker. Michael McGough, three-time Binghamton University alumnus, retired Chief Financial Officer. And Natalia Miatovic, 
Grant Marshall, Professor of Art and Design and Chair of Faculty Senate. Pamela Mission, Platform Party Marshall, Associate Professor, Public Administration, Faculty Advisor to the President. Joanne Navarro, Vice President for Operations. Please join me in applauding these special guests. Let me also recognize all of the esteemed faculty members who have mentored and guided our graduates. Your efforts have been crucial to the intellectual growth and achievements we celebrate today. Will all faculty on the stage and in the audience please rise as you're able and please join me as we applaud their support of and dedication to the success of our students. I would also like to thank the Binghamton University Wind Symphony, our vocalist, our vocalist Angela Acevedo, and the Broome County Celtic Pipes and Drums for their participation in today's celebration. Again, welcome to our celebration of the Harper College of Arts and Sciences Class of 2023. It is It is now my pleasure to introduce President Harvey Stenger. Thank you, Pamela. Hey, Harper. This is an exciting day for both our graduates and for the university as we celebrate the achievements of the Harper College of Arts and Sciences class of 2023. Good job. We are proud of the collective and individual achievements of the students whose work we recognize today. So let me begin by extending to our graduates a heartfelt congratulations for a job well done. I also want to recognize the faculty members who have mentored and guided our graduates. Your efforts have been crucial to the intellectual growth and achievements we celebrate today. And a special welcome to the parents, family, and friends who are here today to share in the joy of watching a loved one reach a rare milestone. Thank you, parents and families. Your support and involvement have been crucial to our graduate success, ensuring that the occasional challenges of writer's block, failed experiments, and lower than expected test scores were never too difficult to overcome. Commencement marks a time of change. It is the culmination of years of hard work and rigorous scholarship and research. The degree our graduates are receiving at today's commencement is a sign that tells the world that they have achieved the level of expertise that will allow them to advance or commence in their chosen discipline. They've demonstrated that they have the prerequisite knowledge to add to the quality of life we lead as global citizens. Let's think back to the start of your journey, to your first days at the university. Entering college fresh out of high school, you began by choosing a field of study. Perhaps you chose chemistry or cinema, or you already had a deep interest in history or Latin American heritage. So naturally, Harper was the home for you. Of course, there are probably a few of you who made the daring choice of undeclared before settling on your vocation. And then you chose to double or triple major because you already had the credits. But each of you spent the next few semesters blah, 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 blah. Do you remember March 11th, 2020? The governor announced that all SUNY campuses will be taught remotely. You were first year students. The campus emptied 
over the next four days. Our lives were about to change forever. We didn't know what the future held for us. We lived the next 18 months with fear, sadness, and uncertainty. We isolated, quarantined, socially distanced, masked up, got sick, studied from our bedrooms, knew friends and loved ones who died, and we questioned our future as a species. My sadness led me to making weekly videos to stay in touch with you. But you and Binghamton University faced it with courage and determination. By the first week of April, we refunded 18,000 students over $25 million. We were the first SUNY school and the fifth in the country to give refunds because it was consistent with our values that our student success is our top priority. And that decision almost cost me my job. We tested, made restrictive social rules, delivered thousands of meals per week to students living in isolation and quarantine in Digman, Hillside, and even hotels along the parkway. Yes, we made mistakes, but we quickly tried to correct them. But somehow, some way, we ended up here. You ended up here. You did it, class of 2023. Great job. Now I'd like to introduce our provost, Donald Hall. Good afternoon, everyone. It is my pleasure to be among those celebrating with you today. Let me take this opportunity to congratulate all of our graduates and their families and their friends who have supported them throughout their time here on the many achievements we are recognizing here. You are truly remarkable students who have brought your intellectual curiosity, your work ethic, and your sense of humor to bear throughout your time here. As you graduate from Binghamton, you will take with you what you've learned in your classes, laboratories, from the student organizations you've participated in, and from the thousands and thousands of personal interactions you've had with those around you. You'll take all of that you've experienced and become change makers as you make your way in our ever evolving world. And it's a very different world since the pandemic upended our lives, but your Binghamton education and experiences will serve you well. Whether you expect to continue on for a graduate degree or head straight into the, this new world's workforce. According to the National Association of Colleges and Employers, employers plan to hire nearly 15% more 2023 graduates than they did from the prior year's graduating class. That's great news for you. And LinkedIn has seen a 21% increase in job postings, advertising skills and responsibilities rather than qualifications. That's also great news for you. No matter what your major was or area of study, whether you majored in humanities, social sciences, arts, or a STEM field, you are leaving us with a foundation in the liberal arts. This is a strong foundation that has helped you hone what is often called soft skills that are so vital to success. Your critical thinking, decision making, and communication skills that will be important for you to move forward in whatever career path you follow. As you prepared, have prepared your time at Binghamton to tackle what is ahead, the next decisions you might find yourself facing are ones like, do I want to continue my education by earning a master's or a PhD? If not, what do I want my work life to be like? Do I want to work remotely, in a hybrid format, or always in an office? And how will I maintain a work-life balance? What will my priorities be? Since you're well past that undecided phase of your college careers and now entering the next decision stage of your lives, my advice to you is to pursue the path that excites you the most. Make your decisions the best ones possible from ones that are presented to you. 
research the company or employer that you've been offered, uh, if you've been offered a job as much as you can, develop a pros and cons list, check out the cost of living, where you could be located, talk to your friends and family, but most importantly, figure out what your, you want your impact to be in your chosen line of employment. Because as Binghamton University graduates, you are poised to make an impact in all sectors of society. You are joining a growing number of Binghamton alumni who have set a standard of success and who have reached the pinnacle of their professions. To note just a few of the Harper graduates who have had an impact, including some of the ones you may actually already recognize. These include lawyer, journalist, and television host Sonny Huston, Tarte Cosmetics founder Maureen Kelly, ESPN's Pardon the Interruption co-host Tony Kornheiser, uh, Archangel uh, Airborne founder and Chief Mission Officer Stuart Douglas Hirsch, NASA Senior Materials Research Engineer Francis Hurwitz, The Daily Show creator Madeline Steinberg, COO and Global Head of BlackRock Solutions Robert Goldstein, actor and comedian Stephanie Courtney, better known as Flo from the Progressive commercials. Yay, Flo. And most perhaps prominently, Hakeem Jeffries, the first Binghamton graduate elected to the US Congress and the current House Minority Leader. They are all Harper grads, like you are. They, as you, earned a Binghamton degree, and that means you have completed a rigorous academic program. Or for those of you who did double or triple majors, more than one academic program. Your Binghamton degree is your hallmark of excellence and, for the, and will you know, ensure the impact that you will have. And so as you make your way forward and progress in your careers, remember to always define your value to prospective employers and those around you. Show them that you know how to solve problems, that you know how to work well together in teams, that you have a broad understanding of the world around you, that you learn to be a leader at Binghamton, and that you are a great communicator. Especially in our changed, often hybrid environment, the ability to clearly communicate to colleagues in person over Zoom through emails and the written word will be paramount to your success. These are all skills that come from your foundation in the liberal arts, and I believe that these are skills that will also be the foundation of your success because you have been exposed to a range of ideas from many fields. You now have the ability to see others' perspectives, to engage in productive dialogue, and to understand the importance that a diversity of thought brings to developing solutions to the many societal challenges we face. These skills will serve you well in whatever endeavors you undertake and will add to your impact as you navigate our world. Whether you choose to continue on to grad school or work in academe or instead opt for a career in the nonprofit sector, the government, or the private sector. So thank you, thank you for choosing Binghamton. It has been a pleasure to have you as our students here. Congratulations on your many accomplishments, and always please stay in touch with us and keep us informed of the many, many accomplishments that are yet to come. Thank you and congratulations, class of 23. Thank you, Provost Hall. Please rise as Rhea Bollander and the University Wind Symphony perform the Harper Alma Mater. The lyrics can be found on page 11 of the commencement program.
be seated. I would like, like now to introduce our Alumni Association President, Scott Foyer. Scott would like to share congratulations on behalf of our Alumni Association. Thank you, Dean. Good afternoon. To you, the class of 2023, I offer congratulations on graduation from Binghamton University. I'm so excited for all of you, and it's an honor to be part of this very significant and emotional day. By now, you've probably heard a million times about the importance of networking and the value of relationships. After today, you can say that you've heard it a million and one times. I do feel the message is worth reinforcing because one of the best attributes of Binghamton University is the strength of our alumni network. And now you are part of this network. We have more than 150,000 alumni in over 100 countries. Wherever you go from here, you'll find Binghamton alumni there. By graduating, you've automatically joined the Alumni Association. The insert card in your diploma cover talks about what this membership means. Also included is your own personal print of the B photo, the class picture you took together during your first week on campus. We hope you will look upon this photo fondly and display it proudly so your friends, family, and colleagues can see you are a graduate of Binghamton University. The Alumni Association is a resource for you, always here to connect you with other alumni and the university. But like anything else, you get out what you put in. If a Binghamton event is happening close to where you live, try to get there. If your location or schedule only allows you to connect with us virtually, try to log on. We have LinkedIn groups, an online mentoring program called Mentor, Mentor Match, which I encourage you all to join. And every year at homecoming, we have a great tailgate party and other activities where you can get together with your college friends. Whether it's in person or virtually, always keep adding to your network. You never know when a connection is going to benefit you, and perhaps you'll be able to help someone else. I've heard many stories of Binghamton connections leading to jobs for recent graduates. And just last year, I was able to help a member of the class of 2022 get her first job after we met at a virtual networking event. I've hosted alumni events at my law office and I've mentored and advised students and fellow alumni. I'm very willing to help and I found that other Binghamton alumni feel the same way. I encourage you to take advantage of opportunities to engage with alumni who want to be a resource for you. And down the road when you're able, be sure to give back and pay it forward to the next generation. Always remember what it feels like to be at the beginning of your career journey so that you will understand and relate to the graduating classes who follow in your footsteps. My family recently celebrated Passover with a close college friend of ours and her family. Her dad, a 96-year-old Holocaust survivor, still leads the Seder and tells incredible stories about his experiences during World War II and his path to America. Every year he speaks about the concept of Lador Vador, which is Hebrew for from generation to generation. Holidays are one way that we make connections between generations of people. It occurred to me that this concept applies equally to the Alumni Association. By giving our time to the next generation of alumni, we make a connection with them and make a difference in their lives. This is a little sad for me because it's my last commencement as president of the Alumni Association. It has been a great experience and has given me the opportunity to meet some incredible people. But you don't have to be on the Alumni Association board to realize the benefits of getting involved. Before I close, I want to emphasize to you that it's your Alumni Association, and where it goes from here largely depends on you. So get involved and make your voice heard. Be sure to scan the QR code that you will find around campus and update your contact information in the Be Connected database so you'll receive notifications about upcoming events and programs and not miss out on anything that might be of interest to you. Though your time as a student may have concluded, you are a Bearcat for life. Thank you. Thank you, Scott. At this time, we will recognize the accomplishments of our baccalaureate degree candidates. First, we will recognize students who have achieved Latin honors. We recognize three levels of achievement, cum laude, magna cum laude, and summa cum laude. The names of the candidates for these honors appear in the commencement program. Over 1,100 Harper College students are candidates for Latin honors. 
So we will not, not announce each by name, but we shall recognize students attending today by having them stand in place. Candidates graduating cum laude, please rise. You may be seated. Candidates graduating magna cum laude, please rise. You may be seated. Candidates graduating summa cum laude, please rise. You may be seated. My congratulations to all of you on your outstanding academic achievements. Latin honours are based on a student's cumulative grade point average. Students who have earned the distinction of departmental honours or distinguished independent work have achieved academic excellence and have been recognised by the faculty in their major department. Will the baccalaureate candidates in the following departments please rise? Art and Design, Art History, Biochemistry, Chemistry, Cinema, Global and International Affairs, History, Latin American and Caribbean Area Studies, Music, Sociology, and Theatre. President Stanger, as the Associate Dean of Harper College, I'm pleased to present to you these candidates who have fulfilled all their baccalaureate degree requirements as prescribed by the faculty. Student Marshal Adam Asu, please lead the candidates to the platform so that all may receive recognition for their academic achievement. Leif Paxton Haley. Shane M. Mindrow. Brianna Grace Crowther. Alison Goodrich. Margaret Basu. Zoe Elizabeth Beach. Olivia Daphne Jarrett. Hayes Wong, Kayla Kim, Annabelle Grace Conover, Evan Jared Lau, Kayla Cartier, Cartier, Sarah Renee McNeil, Anler Abiwatpepa. Daniel R. Rutkowski, David Francisco Larson, Katrina Rose Ditton, Christina Theopolis, Theodoropoulos, Laura Kaganowski, Jacob Morrison, Jeremias Brian Hernandez Cruz. Mikul Silvanu Kwatu, Zachary Jacob, Jacob Cohen, Rose Nicole Perlstein, Jessica Lauren Goldwob, Haley Baum, Melissa Cardosa Castillo, Maria Andrea Chapero Sandrea. August Mason, 
Lily Marie Luciana. Jacob Morris Roth. Alina Grace Vinberg. John Hao Wu. Christine Monica Shafransky. Annette Jin Resk. Emily Clugston. Lara Nicole Solomon. Katrina Jade Balani Uker. China Shaju Evans. Victoria Sandberg. Donovan Leif Batsili. Carlos Manuel Romero, Jr. Andrew Sky Werner. Ji Rong Chen. Chloe Ann Lawson, Jenny Liu, Hira Ushif, Nicholas Ryan Dollard, Caitlin Marie August, Linda Chung, Aaron W. Lamb, Jack Andrew McGowan, Brandon James Rencavage, Victor John Rohrbach, Michael W. Hoffman Bellucci, Rachel H. Choi, Jason Rishi Ratsing, Ratinsing, Daniel Jed Palmer, Mark Philip Guilemi, Christopher Thomas, Ayush Patel, Michael Richard Rufrano. Mel Melanie Mercedes. Mass Massfield Kyung Eng. Daniel Robert Wheeler. Lucas Guy Abernathy. Jade Aaron Lee. Tess E. Telang. Gustav Reese Gottlieb. Alexander Norman Ruren, Nicholas James Tchechlik, Adam Thomas Shalavi, Tyler Christopher Swanson, Miriam Esther Franks, Michael Stephen Martinucci, William Francis McKenna, Jenna Marie Hoyland, Ivan Wolodbromovich Bogach. Cole William Banks. Ekta Malotra. Subika Cattell. Gavin Harrison Code. Daniel Ahmad Shah. Evan Harris Spector. Connor Dalton Fahey. Isabel Fuki, Mallory Grace Dunphy, Derek Rudolph Detterl, Hannah Lynn Zabo, Arashdeep Singh, Jun Wakli, Alexander G. Helenar, Kimberly Ann Lawyer, Jonathan Robert Streeter, Vincent James DeCarlo, Arthur Daniel Riley, Jackson Jung, Seamus Timothy O'Rourke, Vincent Michael DeLeo, David Ray Girer, Joshua C. Sable, Bailey Renee Fanestock. Nicholas Anthony Bianchi, Emma Grace DeYoung, Paige Alexina Bonacoro, Jeremy Andrew Hall, Tara Blake Mercer, Moss Tice, Sheridan Rose Talada, Victoria Kiracetti, Benjamin Aaron Maybaum, Sabrina Michelle Reba, 
John Paul J. Webster, Gillian Sidney Weissman, Madison A. Newkirk, Sebastian de Los Angeles, Haley Christine Fight, Nishat Anjum, Brianna Elise Cavallo, Haley A. Feldman, Kalista Marie Bryant, Michelle Ash Valhamulov, Jinna Yim, Shriya Krishna Nipani, Hannah K. Gerber, Jacob William Cruel, Jaden Arif Beck, Carly Rose Santoro, Dean Leonard Mel Pellegrino, Din Kestrat, Scott Chamberlain, Victor David Okadoyan, Shana Elizabeth Winston, Sydney D. Hakimi, Roger Natalia Manhartz Patterson, Devani Mahaber, Miao Lan Chen Wang, Konkanchi Gaitrai Gurmesh, Arda Tonga, Selin Ozguler, Hassan Mert Sunger, Kerry Grace Harper, Dianel Contreras Vallejo, Nayedza Blot, Michaela Kiera Ortiz, Isabella Sarah Buchanan, Madeline Elizabeth Loiconi, Timothy Aaron Ann, Sam Nasser, Zagham Shah. You drop something. <laughs> no. Abigail Sorrell. <laughs> Asher B. Simonson. <laughs> Alicia Yasmin Mujnaya. <laughs> Mujinya. Alexandra Avila. Mary Chatton. Zachary M. Sirakau. Alexander Joseph Eporo. Connor John Callahan. Zachary David Shear. Carter Wyatt Van Zant. Borana Soman. Noah Joseph Economides. Travis Alexander Krzminski. Drew Spencer Schwartz. Dylan R. Mattingly, Tabor John Sunderland, Connor Scott Culverwell, Shiri Shir Nabul, Jake Dronke, Bryant Ellen Berkowitz, Stephen James Marcotis, Gabriel Jacqueline Barbe Barbera. Julia Elizabeth Kaplan, Justin Alexander Rich, Matthew Lacousirer, Anthony Patrick Talbot, Hallie Lauren Greenwood, Jacob John Cannon, Nicholas E. Hassett, Chase Bullock, Justin Connolly, Connor Daniel Collins, Hannah Marie Hatton, Cielo Imani Perez, Alexandra Marie Barbagallo, Dylan Rafael Fay, Albert Golbiowski, Alexandra Kudlinski, Molly Emma Solomon, Jenna Eden Berman, Daniel Porizzo, 
Matthew Diaz, Eliana Mira Ellerton, Sheila Yasmin Santana Escoto, Imogen, Imogen Lennox, Samuel Yan Wheeler, Taylor N. Stoppel, Quinn Sunderworth, Monishka Javeri, Madison Toba Lazar, Annika Mott, Sarah Murdoch, Kaylee Smith, Alicia Jacobo Mayo, Antonio Ferrer, Taylor Deanna Garris, Lauren Elizabeth Diak, Michael James Ryan, Cecilia M. Malek, Caitlin Marie DiUlio, Danielle Lynn Ferraro, Liam Gaetano Knowles, Lorena Sofia Major, Alexander Ristatos, Elena Smalls, Anna Ji Young Fear, Alan Chen, Devin Barbero, Marissa Taylor Dolcemascolo, Michael Anthony Piacuadillo, Piacuadillo, Julian Udo Lamarti, Angela, Angela Janina Acevedo, Andrew Gaetano Padulo, Ryan Michael Benchimal, Benchimal, Samantha Leah Nozenchuk, Melissa Catherine Longo, Emma Maud Fairweather, Alexandra Leonella Miranda, Francesca Gomez Rodriguez, Sachali Urena, Montserrat Perez, Ador Atuay, McCrene Janot, Summer Ray Cunningham, Giuliani Marcella Pineda, Heba Bakit, Michael Lee, Gabriela Perez, Estelle Welcome Garrett. Sam Meyer, Mackenzie Victoria Johnson, Sophia Leanne Richardson, Kaylin Dougal, Hannah Margaret Fisher, Kay Duval, Joshua Allen Washer, Julian Angel Darden. Cameron James Riley Steele, Marjorie Gail Horowitz, Rochelle Mina Soriento, James O. Driscoll, Julia Tubishtiba, Theodore Watson Lee, Alyssa Valentine Paolo, Ariana Faith Polachek. Emily Ann Whitaker, Abner Z. Leung, At this time, I, don't think I'll do this. I would like to introduce the 2023 Harper College of Arts and Sciences student commencement speaker. Ladies and gentlemen, it is my great pleasure to introduce to you an exceptional young man who is making waves both in and out of the classroom. Meet Oscar Hutar, who has earned his Bachelor of Arts in Biological Sciences with a minor in Forensic Health. During his time at Binghamton University, Oscar has made significant contributions as a teaching assistant in biology, psychology, and outdoor pursuits. 
He has also conducted independent study research on the Bronx River, showcasing his passion for both the environment and scientific inquiry. But that's not all. Oscar is a true leader in campus life, having served as the president and social chair of the Binghamton Swim Club. And if you're a fan of Nickelodeon's Dora the Explorer, and who isn't, you may have heard his voice as Tico the Squirrel. As he looks to the future, Oscar is embarking on an exciting new journey where he'll be working as an EMT studying for the MCAT and volunteering at Westchester Medical Center. There, he will serve as a patient companion for the Department of Palliative Care, patient liaison for the Department of Surgery, and a certified victim advocate for the Office of Victim Advocacy. These experiences will undoubtedly enrich his knowledge and skills as he sets his sights on medical school with the hope of one day joining the surgical field. Please welcome to the podium, Oscar Hutar. Good afternoon, graduates, families, administrators, and faculty. Before I begin, I would like to congratulate the class of 2023. It's great to see everyone here united to celebrate several years of hard work that is finally paying off. Today I would like to begin by talking about dreams. I'm sure many of you have heard the expression, follow your dreams. I'm here to tell you that that is unfortunately not enough. See, dreams by themselves will never be more than just that, dreams. While we can dream about anything, the issue with them is that they focus on the end goal. They lack planning and structure. We are all here today because we have all done way more than that, way more than just dream. We have planned. We have also structured ourselves our social lives, our schedules, in order to turn our dream into an idea. In coming here to Binghamton, we have developed that idea, adapting and perfecting it along the way in order to ensure that that idea does not revert back into a dream. That's why we're here today, right? Because of our ideas. I wish I could tell you that even that was enough. We are not here today just because of our ideas. We are here because we had the determination, the drive to turn all of our ideas into a goal. See, having the willpower to make sacrifices and see all, of, all that planning through is what converted all of our ideas into this goal. Ideas are something we think about. Goals are something we work towards. All of those grueling study sessions, scrap drafts, and sleepless nights, those are all proof that we were working towards a goal rather than just an idea. Today is the culmination of all that planning and effort. It serves as evidence that we are capable of doing way more than just dream. However, I would be remorseful to tell my fellow graduates to stop dreaming altogether, because that's how all of this started. But I will say, never stop at a dream. Give it that structure and turn it into an idea. Put it into perspective and turn it into a goal. Many of us are now going out into the world in order to advance ourselves even further in the form of a job, graduate school, medical school, whatever the case may be. Remember, we did it once and we can do it again. To the graduates I say, keep dreaming, keep creating new ideas, but always see them through to the end. Our graduation today is only the first of many examples of what we can accomplish when we work towards our goals. It is that same mindset that gives us substance, saves lives, and makes the world a better place to live in. 
I wish you all the very, very best, and I look forward to seeing what goals you all strive to achieve in your future. Thank you very much, and congratulations to everyone. Thank you, Oscar. Will the baccalaureate candidates in the Department of Biological Sciences please rise? <laughs> President Stanger, I am pleased to present to you these candidates who have fulfilled all their baccalaureate degree requirements as prescribed by the faculty. Student Marshall, Adam Asu, please lead the candidates to the platform so that all may receive recognition for their academic achievement. Adam Asu. Gregory Michael Gaudio. David R. Wiesenfeld, <laughs> Catherine Julia Hardy, Cassidy Lauren Go, Brandon Marquez, Christopher Thomas Wise Jr., Michaela Mara Cornelius, Grace Ann Villar, Amanda Carol Andrioli, Akshay Prasad. Logan Rivera, Shoji Tong, Jacob Daniel Grover, Anthony C. Woods, Brian Victor Klein, Jason Mishkin, Daniel Stephen Karp, Kwaku Bur Adu Adumako, Saira Ramirez. Ashley Taylor Miglino, Aster McIntosh, Archit Kothari, Benjamin J.W. Maza, Carl James Childs, Samaya N. Modi, Chukwukmeka Michael Nedum Ngogwe, Thomas B. Greenblatt, Matthew Larson, Dylan T. Chang, Jordan Adami, Preston Elliott Sperduto, Anthony C. Iraji, William A. Morrow, Raymond U. Carrillo, Gabriela Marie Ruiz, Kayla Blackwood, Naomi Taggart, Atinia Sanchez, Christopher James Raleigh, it Italo Riva, Bryce R. Deering, Wyatt Cole Zadro, Thomas Robert Levin, Joseph Abriano, Michael Corselli. Ariana Marie Sacconi, Amber Judith Rivera, Amber Michelle Tuske, Shane Maxwell Zaccoli, Emily Nicole Dinan, Maura Quinn Pascolicchio, Nina Nini Levu, Mariana Grisales, Lucy Hu. Nidhi Kinner Mehta, Samantha Ashley Spina, Liz Marie Menendez, Kevin Alexander Neola, Cassidy Leanne Evans, Marissa Paulis, Farah Azam, Kwame Adu, Karen Albuquerque. Jocelyn Laboseri, Kadijo Fofana, 
Belinda Akech. <laughs> Sophia Dorina Vitretti. Vitretti. <laughs> Megan S. Doherty. <laughs> Annabelle Elizabeth Chase. <laughs> Luke Yuri Reeves. <laughs> Jamie Vu Vong. <laughs> Daniel Jared Dessino. <laughs> Sabrina I. Catilar. <laughs> Hannah Rose Duran. Dorin, Jessica Lee Monday, Asia Devan Mogo, Cleopatra Marie Capola, Annie Wong, Leonardo Moldonado, Jesse Schwartz Anderson. Camilla Katarzyna Majuski, Nicole Crimian, Nicholas James Condry, Adriana Bonet, Bonet, Nicholas Joseph Nazaro, Elizabeth Croft, Grace Young, Samantha Ray Tricosi, Nicole Lilia Scott, Ryan Isper, Saleh Adam Raid Zakari, Alexa Garcia, Anta Suba Noor, Anna Mukit, Adam Lam, Nada Hamdi, Victoria C. Durney, Mia Barbara Baraba Montez, Alyssa Marie Huffman, Connor Richard Michael, Christian Cansantos, John Peter Mercaldo, Sienna Rose Lee, Noreen Nusrat Kahazi, Kyle James Frost, Jude Hassan Ibrahim, Emily Elizabeth Dwyer, Liam Parker Van Wagnen, Daniela Rose DeSegli, Hannah G. Shade, Amanda Centrone, Peyton Marlene Weissman, Michaela Elizabeth Silvestro, Raquel Maria Samartano, Cassandra Marie Poglisi, Haley Silver Corret, Jaquel Peyton Mines, Alana Julia Ann Post, Tasha Sundar, Noah M. Mizrachi, Viola Zotto. Christina Elizabeth Taylor, Mubashira Taranam Chowdhury, Diana Marie Maneri, Caitlin Fitzpatrick Spinks, Kevin Liu, Oscar Ruben Hutara, Clarine Lee, Alexander Kwok, Danielle Janet DeCiello, So die. <laughs> Talia N. Merjani, Michelle Simonovsky, Jacob Richard Farina, Ryan Steuben, Caitlin Ann McSweeney, Hannah Elizabeth Damon, Kiera Clarissa Perez, Omanatu Diallo. Niantic Akol, <laughs> Gerilyn M. Rivas, <laughs> Nixon Liu, Lucas Berry Shriver, Yu Bin Key, Kaylin Stephanie Anest, Carly Elizabeth Bayless, Dominic John Banura, 
Ian Matthew Dushkevich, Zechariah David Jansen, Brandon Thomas Kemp, Hannah Margaret Tett, Isabella Jolie Ferraro, Jadira Iglesias, Tigiran Almasov, John, John Ryan Avery, Sydney Mar Marilyn Wilson, Leighton S. Torres, Connor Richard Bingham, Logan Michelle Kozlowski, Victor Matthew Adamchik, Sheriff Atia, Emily Lee, Grace Chang, Vivian Joan Parkhurst, John Sapoff, Wilma Ong, James Michael Alberts, James M. Clark, Jake Ryan Borenkoff, Jared Thomas Meyer, Arian Soulier, Gisela Maxime, Anna Maxime, Stephanie Diane Hensky, Gabrielle Lucia Camilleri, Abigail Joyce Terrell, Cassidy Jill Terrell, Suran B. Zaman, Megan Rose Mark, Milan Samir Patel, William Ryan Jerwitz, Jason Opong, Aaron Taylor Wong, Giordano Rafael Camillo, Ian Ward Bryant, Marco Emmanuel Montone, Mackenzie Page Roach, Isabella Paulina Ritchie, Gina Marie McGough, Lily Amber Johansson, Cameron Shapiro, Adam Mohammed Alfadel, Tyler J. Hamill, Stephanie Lemus, Jessica Pukov, Marcus Andrew Fariello, Mahin Kureshi. Brian Michael Sizing, Jr. Melanie Gloria Moreira. Jennifer Cooperman. Nathaniel William Darko. Dennis Joji Alenyiko. Yadiris Yishel Guzman. Leah Matai. Gianna Marie Schiavoni, Belinda Zhang, Victoria Lynn Grover, Caitlin J. Griffiths, Tamar Haham McGowan, Tiana Lynn Vasquez, Paige Olivia Aletzauer, Isabella M. Mealy, Anthony John Lazaridis, Ariel Lynch, Mohammed Zain Nassim, Kara West, Anna Rachel Lacey, Dumar Blanco, Kylie Nicole Harrison, Sarah Elizabeth Williams, Emma Jane Yanimowicz. Melanie Inegemi, Hope Braun King, Faith Ann King, Emily Rose Felicia, Alan Pushkar, Tyler Jordan Grant, <coughs> Kathleen Liu, Lauren Brooke Unterreiner, 
Lena Marie Rios, Emily Rose Meron, Justine Peart, Aaron Jason Oger, Lauren Harper Lammers, Spencer D. Nixon, Miley Nohelia Marin Brown, Alexis Roseanne Beeler, Justin Rivellis, Wan Chong Cho, Courtney Emma George, Valentina Isabel Peña Gonzalez, Nanchiche Abena Nanyanka Roach, Natali Natalia G. Pelton, Sunal Pal, Mitro Mertiri, Ana Nita Esquera, Lauren Alexis Machani, Catherine Delianis, Angelica Rose Gonzalez, Jamie McEnany, Katie Marie Morgan, Luke S. Weiner, Sabrina Gerstein, Eden Shiomos, Brian Nicole O'Keefe, Zachary Rafi Le Levin, James Peter Arevalo, Tara Elizabeth Arosen, Jane Ida Sturgeon, Harley Lily Weiss, Patrick Zalweski, Alyssa Victoria Morisco, Annie Teresa McLean, Annalise Lauren Pepper, Elizabeth S. Kennelly, Grace Marie Fish, John Michael DeSantis, Christopher Gerard, Gerard Rowan, Kai Yu Kio, Gabrielle Page Usapian, Brandon Loriano Smith, Samantha Rose Sanito, Dan A. Pergel, Matthew William Van Holden, Rebecca Ann Ferguson, Madison Wessner, Riley Carroll, Eve Nicole Lindemann, Ronak Shetty, Samantha Nicole Fitzgerald, Rachel Grigas, Anna Victoria Varonak, Afan Siddiqui, Stephen Alberto, Sophia Annalise Mattern, Kaylee Elizabeth Oliofsi, Michaela Yesi Diakovo, Sally Timon, Emily Jean Williams, Holly M. McNair, Samuel Christopher Mohemani, Julia Adriana Giardina, Safa Nadim, Halima Rashid Jr., Maria N. Khan, Isha Ahmed, Yisha N. Khan, Su Suhaib Abukar Azam, Hashim Harun Bajwa, Juliana Cueteco Juarez, Jonathan Isaac Kuantin, Kuatkin, Philip Guan, Kyle C. Law, Megan Jessica Lee, Michael Howlin Lee, Kathy Yan, Andiela Lee, Sammy Lin, Daisy Kim, Christina Stephanie Choa, Min Hao Chen, K. 
Kenny Chen. Najin Akhtar. Srija Roy. Patricia Paula Fortiniski. Apurva Singh. Ashley Renee Ole. Lina Lin. Carmen Young. Daria H. Hetchenkoff. Marissa L. Damiano. Suraj Rajesh Patel. Aaron Sidney Kilkenny. Yuka Shi Yamuchi. Lillian Elizabeth Brusick. Julia Elise McNeely. Samantha Carolyn Rivera Perrier. Tanisha Chantel Thompson. Chloe Kaylin Peterson. Matthew Stephen Palguta. Justin Jason Friedman. Mark Joseph Germano. Olivia Ann Sacamano. Medea K. Hassan. Jennifer Elizabeth Chandy. Ashi Ashfia Hawk. Krithik Basak. Gurab Roy. Maxine Elizabeth Makovich. Fiona Carroll. Nicole K. Padherny. Ryan J. Atkins. Hawa Saif. Shimron Zamani If Ecker. Timmy Zhang Li. Gianna Alexandra De Roberts. David Anthony Berman. Olivia Christina Stella. Joseph C. Rill. Brandon Kurt Brockner. Michael Patrick Ott. Liliana Taylor Tashovic. Olivia T. Connolly. Emily Danielle Pakar. Lucas Quell. Michael Joseph Cusa Jr. Michael Joseph Tortora. James T. de Blasi. Gianna Maria Nardi. Jailene Beatrice Molina Marin. Benjamin Nathan Helwa. Burak Kant. Lily Kathleen Barbara. Emily Arqueta Martinez. Emma Claire Vosca. 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 Kayumas Tozai. Yan Lin Kui. Chang Chang Liu. Owen M. Carmody. David Alexander Terry. Ryan Patrick Marone. Maria Semifova. Emmanuel Calderon. Anthony Gerald Calder. Matthew David Murray. Mary Ariel Campbell. Mukundan Morali. Christian Pachia. Vicky Chu. Stephanie Chan. Sehan Randipa Rajapaksi. Matthew R. Chiffy. Aiden Michael Stevens. Anthony Joseph Trevisiani. Caitlin Ann Kelleher. Ariana Cayon. Carissa Elizabeth Fleming. Casey Chan. Kate Cordelia McGregor Del Rata. Cole Carr. Amara Berwet. Brian Alexander Bibichev. Eugenia V. Fodorova. K. 
Kenneth Alvarez. Derek Hyun Song. Scott Shu. Vincent Anthony DeMartino, Jr. Victoria Amelia Fernandez. Violetta Alina Deckert. Jillian Laura Obis. Casey Marie McKenna. Tessa Hyoman Hilt. Georgia Ann Pritchard. Elizabeth Aiden King. Jade Fixen Awu. Samantha Megan Maneri. Max Ian Caspi. Richard J. Pleasance III. Olivia Levy. Charlita Hayden. Gabrielle Umarava. Did you read that? I would now like to ask everyone to rise as they are, as they are able as we sing the Binghamton University alma mater. We invite everyone to join in singing the refrain and second verse. The lyrics may be found on the back cover of the commencement program. Baccalaureate degree candidates, please remain standing. Everyone else may be seated. President Stanger, I'm honoured to present to you these candidates for the baccalaureate degree by the university. 
for those who have successfully completed all degree requirements by the authority vested in me by the Chancellor and the Board of Trustees of the State University of New York and the Board of Regents of the University of the State of New York, I confer on each of you the appropriate baccalaureate degree with all the rights and privileges accompanying it. On behalf of the Binghamton University community, I congratulate you all for this well-earned accomplishment. As is customary upon conferral of the baccalaureate degree, you may now move the tassel on your cap from the right to the left. Ladies and gentlemen, partners, parents, partners, and friends, I present to you the Binghamton University Harper College of Arts and Sciences Class of 2023. The spring commencement proceedings of the State University of New York at Binghamton are now concluded. We kindly ask the audience to remain seated for the academic recessional. Once the academic recessional is completed, please exit as soon as you're able. Thank you. 